Hello everyone, I'm I for Scotland, and welcome to Return of the Obra Dinn, a puzzle game that I actually mentioned on my Chance of Sinar kind of let's play. Um, Return of the Obra Dinn is a game where you as the player are trying to put together what happened on a ship. It's not a language game like Chance of Sinar, but I thought that the puzzle elements of it were, uh, were pretty similar. Uh, I've not played Return of the Obra Dinn in years, so I have pretty much forgotten everything, so I'm kind of... I've only ever played it once as well, so I'm going to come in at this semi-fresh. There'll be some things that I might put together faster, but uh, I am looking forward to exploring this game again. Um, so, without further ado, we shall begin. Uh, I'll make myself small, and we will... Uh, there we go. Last played four fucking years ago. Jesus. Right, okay, we will uh, delete uh, that one, and it's gone forever. Uh, we will start afresh. I'm not even sure. Did I complete it? I'm sure I did. Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship, the Obra Dinn, built 1796 in London. 800 tons, 18 foot draft. Captain R. Witterell, crew of 51 men. Last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East India Company in London office for inquiries or testimony. Well, East India Company. What a bunch of bastards. Should be... A riot trying to figure out what happened here. And now we go. The Honourable East India Company. Attention, we are the Chief Inspector, or we are an inspector. Insurance and claims. Obra Din is returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. I believe we can do that. I think this is just giving us time to read it at the moment. But your update on Scottish weather is it we had it was like raining for the past like three days and now it's kinda sunny in a nice spring way, which is nice. Company man woke me up. Company man woke me up. You need ferry to the Obradin. The Obradin. Not many eager for that job. This is fantastic voice acting. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. I did. What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! Ow! Carefully. Uh. Alrighty. So, unlike Chances and R, I am actually using keyboard this time. So, I will try my best to make sure that the keys aren't heard. Um, so I need to find a way to hoist this box up. No, I do not want to go back down. No, 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 don't make me do this. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, no. <laughs> Art in this game is absolutely phenomenal. Just the style of it is so good. That rope would be useful. We need to find a way to do the thing. There is a dead body there. Right, so we need to find a way to This is how this is how long it's been. I have no idea how to get the box up onto the ship. So we're off to a, a fantastic start. Well done everyone. Um Oi! Oh it's too heavy Yes. I yes. I'm I'm looking I'm, I I thought that rope would have done the job. Anything here? No. Anything here? Any rope we can use? Like, I get that it's too heavy, but... It's too heavy! Yeah, I am... Maybe I am supposed to... Like, am I just supposed to carry this up myself? It didn't look like I had the chance to pick it up there. We're off to a fantastic start. Take it yourself or open it here. Oh, it's because I'll just open it here, though. Ah, 
Ah, the essentials. We have a journal. Turn of the Obrid Inn, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy, 1807. Trust that you now find yourself aboard the Obrid Inn. I expected this day to come and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Obrid Inn is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I've elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. So we've got the Atlantic leg of the Far East route, which has a lot of pages. We've got the ship, the deck plans, the crew, and we can try and figure out the fate of said crew. So obviously there's a lot of people there. There is someone from Scott, Duncan Mackay, the Scott. Um, is that one? We've got, no, we've got Abigail Hoskett Witterall as well. Oh, we've got a couple. Nice. All right. And we've got stuff, which we will Find it. Skim. Oh, I need to skim through the entire book first. Okay. Sorry, I thought that. So I was kind of getting the gist of it, but I'll. Well, there's a whole bunch of chapters. Oh, there was something there. This chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book. Sure. Nice. Job done. And we also get the funky compass of death. Memento Mortem. Remember death. Okay, on we go. Time to solve mysteries. So we can go in time and watch like scenes of people's deaths, I think. Captain! Open the door! That's, that's the Scottish ah, guy, isn't it? Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Okay. So this is the captain, who is topless. Nice. Then we've got two lads, one of which is Scottish. So we've got we've got photos of the crew that we need to kind of peel through, don't we? This book's really long. Right. So, to begin, we have folk, and we need to find the captain, who I'm guessing is this lad. So, who is Robert Witterell? So we actually need to find him first, which is this lad, pretty sure. Is that not him? Oh, it's saying no. Hmm. I'm guessing... It's really hard to see people's faces, actually, in this. So there's all that. There's then a royalty. Yeah, I will await further clues. Okay. It's interesting that we're not getting... So this guy, yeah, this guy is... The Scottish dude, right? 
But are we just supposed to kind of like see this scene? Can't escape here yet. So we've got to put something together. Edward Nichols, the second mate. Who is this? You cannot deduce with confidence yet. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe it was a time limit thing there? This kind of starts from the back, doesn't it? Or does it? I've, I have forgotten fucking everything about this. This is going to be way more challenging than I thought it was going to be shit. <laughs> oh, you're going to rip the shit out of me in the comments. Fuck. This unknown soul man, unknown fit. Did it? Captain, open the door, kick it in, lest we break it down and take more than those shells. Bastard may take exactly what you gave me. Location of said corpse is there. Three others were present. So this lad is this blurring that indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Their fate may be known and be entered for now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. I mean, he was definitely shot. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. So... I'm so glad it doesn't say unalived. That would have been really annoying. Shot with a gun. By... Robert Whitrow. But he's still an unknown soul at this point. And the door's now unlocked. Cool. So we can now jump back to reality. Nice. Okay, we've got another dead body and another dead body. So let's do the time warp again. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. Yeah. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. Oh. It's a lie. That line, that's a lie. It was straight out of Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. Right, so this guy's dead at that point. So this is the aftermath. This lad was... We don't know him. No, but memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Ah, cool. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Cool. So we don't know this guy. Well, we don't know this guy, but we do know that he got fucking stabbed. Look at him. The gun's on the floor. Anyone here? Oh, there's fucking someone there. This guy is definitely dead. And did someone leap from here? Is that what we're getting at? Oh. I'm guessing these are timed. So. Right, okay. 
I see now. So we don't know who this is, but we know they were... They were not struck. They were... Axed? No, that doesn't... Clawed? I am not seeing stabbed. Has anyone seen stabbed or slashed? There is kill uh, knifed, that's it. Knifed by Robert Witterell. There we go. I'd say that's a knife. And now we can leave this scene. And then there was another body that we can do the, the time warp on. Wonder if this is the captain's death. Oh. Fucking hell, the captain's an absolute machine. So who's that? This guy's fucking dead. Knife's there. There's a fucking dead body. It's always good. Um. Right, so the captain ends up killing that guy. This woman is... Is she ill? Oh. Oh. What's that? can hold down E and like inspect bodies and so she's that woman there. Yeah, oh, okay. What about this guy? Oh! Don't even think the first time I played that that I realised I could do that. Okay, so... Who is this? How did they die? Again, unknown soul. You get clubbed, you think? By Robert Whitrow. Do you think it's clubbed? I think it might be clubbed. It wasn't a club, he did it with a spear, but he didn't get speared with the spear. He got he got clubbed with the spear. Okay, let's skedaddle. And, oh fucking hell, everyone's dying through here. I'll, I'll check this body first, because he might say something about the other one. Abigail. So that's Abigail. Your brother, my friend, I shot him. Right. Dead. Now we know, now we know. You. That's a fucking cheery number, that. I don't think we need to... Like... I think we've got this. So I'm not sure... Yeah, it's just... It's a waiting game. Is anything fun outside? No. Nah. So he shot himself after... Killing those three guys. Killed the brother, shot him, and then the brother just had, what, pals that tried to do something? So I'm guessing she, she died of, like, illness, maybe? Kinda looked like it. Oh, he did not meet an unknown fate. We know now. He... 
Suicide by gun. This may or may not be correct. Facts are validated in sets of three, correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have information typeset into the book. Okay. So, now we know this guy, whose face is now unblurred, this unknown soul is not unknown anymore. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity, revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest and artist sketches, pages 2 and 4, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances and roles. Cool. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Great. This'll be fine. So... William Hosker is that lad, so I think we can solidly say it was that. Don't know who this guy was, don't know who this guy was, and we, I suppose we need to go and inspect Abigail's body, despite kind of knowing her, her deal. We need to leave the current room and then jump into her one. That's, what, four deaths, so we can now... Now see how Abigail met her end. Martin. So someone's Martin. Oh, fuck. Oh. Fuck that. Okay, that's how she died. She got crushed by, uh... Hold, yeah, fuck. By the Kraken. She got killed by the Kraken. Is Martin the guy that kills? Don't know who these people are. So he's that guy. I'll just go around and kind of grab all these. He's there. Is this guy the same guy? No, this is someone else. Ah. And then there's folk over here. They be struggling. None of them are dead, though. Except that guy. That guy's definitely dead. Holy shit. Okay. So she got crushed by the Kraken. Pops was moved post mortem. Ten others were present. Who is this? So I think we've got... We know it is... Uh, who was the other Scottish lassie? Um, where are we? Abigail Hoskup Witterall. There we go. And she got crushed by the beast. Yeah. I'd say she got crushed by the beast. Oh. Fuck yeah. It's worth saying that these are the easier ones. This is not a speed run. We know William Hoskett, we know Captain Robert Whittle. We now have one very small piece of the puzzle. We know a couple of fates, that's about it. So who's this guy? So he's tattooed. Ah, wait, that's that guy is the same guy as... 
Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. Hmm. I don't know what this is expecting of me. <laughs> oh wait, I can jump. Ah. Oh, so I can follow! Where did his body go? So he's now etched there and I can access his death from the memory of someone else, don't you? So he got fucking done by the creature who ripped him in half. That's pretty grim. I was gonna say, was that thrown? It was. So this guy, that's him. There's a sheep. Um, there's this dude who's struggling. There's this guy who is hanging about. There's a sniper dude. Okay. To be honest, this is this is the one thing that puts me off being at sea is like I wouldn't want to be on a ship when I crack an attacks. I think there's like there's a few there's a few things. I'm I I'd hate the idea of dying at sea. I'm not a fan of that. Don't quite know who this is just yet, but he was definitely torn apart by the beast. Yeah, I don't know enough about him yet. Oh, our thing is quaking. So now you can find another body. <laughs> So we're on a, like a, a death tour of the Obra Dinn. Oh, where are we going now? Tried to fake us out there by going round that mast. So... Who is this? Oh. The main bit! <laughs> that bit over there. Hold on. God, they don't use names much, do they? Okay, so someone got fucking wrecked. And this guy. And then there's this guy who went to cut a thing and then got grabbed. This guy was struggling with all the guns. Can't get down there. Doesn't look very good, does it? So the Kraken attacks and... Yeah. Shit goes bad. Don't know who this guy is. But he got Absolutely wrecked. Okay. Let's see where we get to.
location of the corpse. And this guy kind of got like Exploded, maybe? He was definitely, he was definitely killed by an explosion. Throw it, throw the powder and then he just got... Destroyed. Okay, time to skedaddle on out of this memory. Well, that was good. Oh, and now we can go down. I'm sure this is fine. Okay. Oh, dead body. Fuck being on that ship, man. Fuck. Crushed to death by a loose cannon. That is pretty embarrassing. Wait, was that the guy that got exploded? No, that was the guy that got exploded. Is there any... Can I get round? Oh, I can. Nice. So that guy was Sir. Which makes me think he was one of the... Yeah, his uniform is definitely one of the, the roles. Then there's this guy who I don't think we've seen before. Nah, we haven't. And this guy who's dead. And we're running out of time. Shit. So how did he die? Crushed by cannon? Yes, nice. Don't know who he is though. Oh, let's... Yeah, I can just step over that, that's handy. And he died there. Okay, let's go. Ugh. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, he got... Oh, Fuck, I know, that's not good. There's our tattooed guy. And there's that guy, we recognize him. Don't recognize him? Or, no, wait, hold on, he's the guy who was at the end. Or at the, the first bit with the captain. Yeah, this poor guy's fucking... Not in a great spot. So he actually just got shot with a cannon. Obviously the time limit's a thing, but I'm not sure if I can speed it up. Because I feel like I've seen everything in this scene now. There we go. I didn't see how this guy died, unless they were both killed by the cannon there. Shot by cannon. By someone? I don't remember that. I, I think I'm missing a body here, unless they were both shot by the cannon. Oh, he was crushed by the cannon. It was his body. One second. 
crushed by a loose cannon. That makes sense. The body was there. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Wisp. Don't take the piss. <laughs> Which is a really gnarly bit of his death. Oh, maybe, no, hold on, this is a different guy. Oh, they were both shot by the cannon. Ah, I'm a fool. Open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch, okay. So, he wasn't crushed by a loose cannon, he was also shot by a loose cannon. We don't have the opportunity to see loose cannon, so unless we're saying that it was this guy. <laughs> Which maybe makes a little bit of sense. So these guys were just cracking on and doing their thing. The Kraken... Was it the beast that shot them? Because I feel like that's a bit... Nah, it was this guy. This guy... The beast didn't light the cannon. It's fucking grim way to go. A Kraken holding your body against the barrel of a cannon. That's fucking rough. This is why I don't go on cruises. It's just not happening. It's got nothing to do with also having no money. So it was... Don't know who this was, but... Was he crushed by the beast, maybe? Oh, the door's opened. Okay, no one was in here. Imagine sharing a bed with a cannon. It's like, sorry, we need to get into your bedroom, we're under attack. Okay. Oh. Is that two dead bodies? Or is that one body that's kind of spread? Oh no! You're shot! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Okay. Don't eat, mother. I, I, I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! <laughs> So who's Brennan? So there's this guy. He's Deed. We know him. We know that this was the first mate. Don't know who this guy is. We know we know that guy. That's one of the guys that Thingy killed. No idea what happened here, Jesus. Is this Brennan? He's listening? Brennan bring the surgeon's kit? So maybe it is Brennan. So... Who... Is that a surname? No. Can I just not see? Well, yeah, Henry Brennan. I'm gonna guess that at the moment. And he got wrecked. So that might be Peter? Oh no, there's two dead folk there. Ah, fuck. Okay. Hmm. Was the, 
How did the guys end up getting killed? Sure, well, sure, we're about to find out. So this is chapter nine, the escape. This voyage was fucked from the beginning. Don't even know how he died, actually. Hmm. Right, let's see here. Because we've got folk over here. Their bodies did end up here, right? He was either stabbed or shot or something or other. Shot? What's all this shit getting for? Oh. So he's. He's crawling. This guy is just being shot. This guy then gets immediately clubbed over the head. And he looks like he's playing... He's got a hat on, so he's... Or something. And this guy... Yeah, Brennan clubs him. There's blood this way, but... The draw distance isn't a thing. Um, yeah, so this guy's just being shot in the face. Don't know who he is, but... Dear see we'll about to find out the run up to this as well. Don't know who that guy is. I'm guessing that's fuck, we should have checked. Should have checked again the stairs, because if that was the Scottish guy, that would have made sense. Shit, now I'm trying to remember. So who is this? I don't know, but he was clubbed by a uh, Brennan. Don't know who he is though. So that's that's yeah. So that's the Scottish guy. Okay. So now we figure out this guy's death. <laughs> Like, this could never be made into a TV show unless it was, like, a really specific... Like, they, they couldn't turn it into, like, a, a drama or anything. I mean, I suppose they could with enough, like, flashbacks and stuff. This would be really cool as a concept for a TV show. Okay, so we've got Mutiny. Struggle, gunshot. Damn. So this guy was screaming mutiny, and this guy was fancying a cheeky wee mutiny. Or maybe this younger guy was the one shouting mutiny? Jeez. Hmm. That's Brennan there, and that's the Scottish guy. Hoskull, or whatever his name is. Either way, we're probably going to get this guy's thing 
now and we'll be able to say that he was shot by whoever this guy was. But we don't know who that guy was. We know a lot of deaths, we don't know a lot of names. Who is this? Not Scooby. But he was, however, shot with a gun by a guy. Now, if he was shot by that guy and he's wearing a hat, this was first mate, there was captain. I wonder. No, we don't have that. Was he maybe shot by one of the mates? First, second, third, and fourth. Fucking hell. Big ship. Okay, so. Maybe up here? Oh, we've got. Eh, we're getting. <laughs> Someone's getting fucking yeeted overboard, maybe? So this guy, who we don't know... Oh uh, no, we have seen him before. We've got this guy... We've got the captain... We've got that woman... We've got... That guy... So this guy was shot with a gun, we know that. So much drama happening. I don't know if there's actually a way to... It'd be nice if there was a way to uh, speed up that spinny thing. I'm not sure if there is, though. So this is on the chapter of the escape. This guy got fucking shot by someone who we don't know yet. Lots of people getting killed with guns. And now we get to see this guy who got stabbed with a sword. I'm guessing. We have a spinny thing. I was hoping to get another set of three, but I'm not sure when that actually ends. Holy shit. Okay. I was being like, I'll keep this to a nice, crisp, like, half an hour, but no. I, mean, I should have done it after the first one. Ah, so Paul dies. So that's Paul. Whoever Paul is. Paul, Paul Moss? Yeah. Don't know who she's supposed to be. His wife, maybe? Is there a... Oh. This is a deduction rating. A higher rating means that it'll be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on easily deduced identities first. Leave the more difficult ones for later. Okay. If you say so. So who's this? 
This is this guy. Don't know enough about him yet. Do we know enough about this guy though? No. Everyone's still bloody. Nothing over here. Got a name for him, got a name for him. Meanwhile, what's happening down here? Oh shit, this is like the whole mutiny bit. Ah, fuck. So that was the young guy who got stabbed in the back. I mean, he was definitely... Uh, Killed sword, but we don't know who the attacker was. But we do know that this guy is dead. Actually, sure this there's like this is a small slice of the story. So we're down here, because that because this guy in this chair was also dead. Everyone on this ship is fucking dead. Okay, come on, little swirly thing. There we go. How the fuck did this guy die? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. But that... The beast is yeah. dead. How? This guy's German? It? We didn't. It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold. Said he chased it off. You should rest. A curse like that does that lead for nothing. <laughs> Okay, so these are the guys that are mutinying. And then this guy... Thingies. That's the Scottish guy. And that's the captain. Okay. I don't know how he died though, I'm guessing like follow the blood, he just kind of I'm guessing he got hurt by the beast. Maybe it's just killed. He was just killed by the beast. And then the Frenchman was torn apart, which makes me think that's the lad with all the tattoos, but I don't know. So, this is, I suppose it could also be Austria. Is there anyone from Germany on board? Nah. Okay, so I'm going to go with Alfred Klestel was Suze, no. Uh, fell, no. Uh, crushed by the beast? Gonna go with that. Please, let me find like one more set of people, come on! <laughs> In fact, if we... I'm going back, because we need to find... Who is the lad that got like... 
So this guy is potentially him. Doesn't look like it would be him. Is there another French guy? Nah, it doesn't look like it. His deduction rating's quite high, but I could reckon could be French. Don't know about this guy. Don't know enough about any of these yet. Escape. Yeah, so we've got Paul. We don't know who his attacker was. I said it was one of the other mates. Nah. No, I want to I want to cleanse this unknown. Um <laughs> Okay, no, we will continue. This'll be a long first entry. I'll try and make the other ones more digestible. So who is this and what fate befell them? Who's this? Four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. I don't know enough about that. It's unhelpful. Nothing in here. Anything in things? Oh, come on. Nope. And... Oh, we can venture further down. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Okay. That's a sound one fucking died. Lazarette, secure the holds. Someone shoot the damn thing! Huh? Oh, what the fuck? Someone shoot the damn thing, that's a Scottish guy. This guy got sniped, but who by? Hold on, can I see? Whoever that guy is, shit. So, this guy got shot, I don't know his name. Can I run? No, I can't, oh fuck, who's this? It's just a guy. Is it? Okay. Is that that? What is it, the giant? Are they, are they just giant crabs? No, it sounds worse than that. Okay, so that guy, whoever it was, he shot that dude. So I need to... Ah, fuck. So much. <laughs> Soldiers of the Sea. There you go, there's your warning. Don't go near the Canary Islands, ever. <laughs> no idea, but they were, however, shot with a gun. Again, shot with a gun. Seems to be the go-to for everyone. Huh? Oh, this guy been fucking spiked. Holy shit. I've only just clocked that. So they were like pinned up against this section here. Maybe I'll just go around. It was like here, wasn't it? Oh, do I need to like. 
I need to like quite literally follow the trail. I see now. Can't be getting ahead of myself. As it does its swooshies and swirls. I'm curious to know if this was done with the Microsoft Paint tool. Someone was just drawing a line. <laughs> Don't move, I've got you. Jesus fucking Christ. You got like. Oh, they killed it at least. So that's that guy. Never seen him before. You got ki you got spiked. Curious, was this guy dead at that point? Who's this? Oh, so he's like limping away at this point, and then oh fuck, so he he's limping away, and then he gets shot. That's devastating. You, you think he'd escaped? Okay. Because the further back, like the earlier back you go in like the first voyage, it's like you're gonna have everyone, there's what, 60 people on the ship? You're gonna get confused. How did they die? They got... They got spiked by a terrible beast. Don't know who it is though. Oh, someone got squished by a beast? If I can't actually join the dots after, like, one more, I'll think I'll have to bite the bullet and, <laughs> and wrap up this video. I managed to solve three deaths. This guy got fucking squished by a big crab. That's pretty cool. Oh, the noise they make's fucking horrible. So, hold on, what's happening here? This guy stabbed it. This guy hopped onto it and set it on fire? This guy's just taking a fucking break. These guys are dead. That guy's been fucking decapitated, holy shit. Fighting on a ship must fucking suck. Okay. Look at this guy, he's hanging it. So is he burnt? Like, did he kind of sacrifice himself and burn to death? Potentially burned? I don't know if that's legit or not. Hmm. Anyway, we've got more dead people to go and fucking review. On the bright side, it looks like these two died together, so there's a... Uh... I think that's the one thing I would change about this game, is the fact that you walk to find their bodies, and then you find their bodies, and then you click it, and then you have to walk and find their bodies while following that wisp. Like... I'm sure there was a two birds. One stone thing you could have done there. We're no use. We are no use. Burn it. He did burn. Holy. Oh, fuck, there's a person. Oh, no. Oh, that's even worse. 
Oh, that actually gives me the fucking heebie-jeebies. Hate it. Okay, it's one thing to be a giant crab, it's another thing to be a giant crab with the silhouette of a monster on you. Alright, so decapitated and also decapitated by the giant crab things. And then this... This absolute lad launches a lantern. King shit. Yeah, that's fucking grim, man. Also, that's a really tight dress, like, you know, fucking, that's a tight claw around your neck. Wouldn't want to be in that guy's position. See, that's why you do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, to get out of chokes like that. Guy's, <laughs> guy's been skipping his BJJ classes. Okay. <laughs> How did they die? They got absolutely fucked by a monster. They got clawed, decapitated by a beast. Did this guy also get decapitated by a beast? I'm not sure if it was like a... Yeah, maybe. There's someone up there, so... Oh, that is actually fucking cursed on so many levels. This guy got spiked. We will, we will eventually <laughs> get to the end of the. I'm, I'm gonna end up having to fucking post an hour and twenty minute video. Jesus. Right. So. Right. If we can't put anything together after this one, I'll wrap it up, okay? And we'll explore what happened to this. Absolute fucking cursed ship next time. So we need to actually follow the trail. Because it was here this guy got spiked. And Demon! Don't know why I did the hands. What's going on? Enemy! Oh, Nick. On, no, get hey, oh, wait, hold on. Nick is already dead. So Nick will be... That's Nick. Although he does have a spear through him, which is a little bit odd. Um, These creatures are so freaky. I, I fucking hate them, actually. This guy got spiked, this guy, and this guy's trying to like take cover. I love how this guy was like, enemy aboard, like, I mean, technically correct, but also an enemy, is that your, <laughs> an enemy, like, what the fuck is that? That is the most cursed shit ever, eat it, eat it. Ugh. Right. How did this guy die? He got spiked. Now, depending on... Okay, apparently I'm to await further clues. That's fine. Right, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Right, no, I can't, I can't have it. Like, can I do one more? I feel compelled to, sorry. We'll do one more. We'll, I was, we'll do one more. One more bit of the puzzle. I'm hoping to get back to the door again where I'm going, okay, now I know where I'm at. Like, at least I want to get back to not following the memory. Oh, do we need to twirl around this twice? Okay. Because this is potentially the start. This is how we know that Nick, this guy, got stabbed. Bloody devil, that's more like. Oh, that is absolutely just the worst. Would you say that's spiked as well? I think that's spiked. 
then there's this guy. Hmm, could also be Nick. I don't know. Hmm. I'm guessing that'll be the next corpse that we go and find. Yeah, and then there's just all of these lads that are all just like, what the fuck? They are horrifying. Seeing that rising from the depths, fuck no. Just... I would just burn the ship. Just fuck it. <laughs> Where's the gunpowder? We're detonating this ship. So we're guessing this is Nick. I'm gonna put his name in just to be like, yeah, this could be Nick. Nick, Nick, Nick. There's an unknown seaman, that's interesting. Nicholas. And he got spiked. Right, we'll do it until we get back out into the world, okay? I've, I'm gonna lay down that law there. I'm sorry for the length of this video. Just... I, th I, I expected a natural break when I solved something. <laughs> Alas. To be honest, if I'd been a little bit better at puzzles, maybe I would have um, already... Um, Got another group of three, and I would have been like, "Got you." Oh. Okay. There's the door. Okay, this is fine. So this guy got lightninged, and this guy. So there's these dudes here, and there's also who I think is the French person. And as we saw, oh, you can see them on the ship. That's really creepy. So light, <laughs> lightning came and ruined this guy's day. We've got two crabs coming up the ship. I'm guessing there was more than two. There was probably like three, four crabs. But yeah. I thought the body we were in expect uh, inspecting was the guy that got thrown, but maybe he was falling rather than being thrown. How did they die? Lightninged. Unless it's fell. They get maybe burned? Electrocuted. There we go. And with that, we have still solved nothing. <laughs> okay. At least we're out here and all the bodies are kind of like hovering about. Sound, okay. Thank you very much for joining me for the first quite long part of Return of the Obra Dinn. Uh, I have forgotten so much of this game, so it's quite nice to like revisit and and piece it together. I hope you're enjoying it as well. Um, again, it's one, of the, it's one of those things, if you like that first part and you think this might be a game for you, I would actually really recommend that you go and experience it yourself uh, and you can always come back at a later date and, and watch this series and you can see, uh, you, can, you can compare notes. Um, but anyway, I will see you next time. Thank you very much, folks. Bye-bye.